Understanding the phrase, I have high hopes. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, I have high hopes. This phrase is common in both spoken and written English, and understanding it can really add depth to your language skills. So, let's dive in and find out what it means and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. When someone says, I have high hopes, they are expressing a strong belief or expectation that something good will happen or that a particular outcome will be achieved. It's often used when someone is optimistic about the future, despite any challenges that may be present. The key elements here are optimism and expectation. This phrase has been around for quite some time. Its origins are not precisely known, but it has been a part of English vernacular for many years. The word, hope, is central to this expression, and it's worth noting that, hope, has been a significant concept in many cultures and languages throughout history, often associated with a positive outlook on future events. I have high hopes can be used in various scenarios. For example, personal goals, I have high hopes for my career. Expectations for others, I have high hopes for my children's future. General optimism, despite the challenges, I have high hopes for this project. It's important to understand the context, as the phrase can sometimes be used ironically or in a humorous way, especially if the speaker actually has doubts about the outcome. This phrase is not just used in everyday conversation. It's also found in literature, songs, and movies. For instance, the song, High Hopes, by Panic. At the disco, or older classics like Frank Sinatra's, High Hopes, show how this phrase has permeated popular culture. It's often used to convey themes of determination and resilience. I have high hopes, is a phrase that beautifully captures the human spirit of optimism and expectation. Whether you're talking about your personal goals, your feelings about someone else's future, or expressing general optimism, this phrase can add depth and emotion to your conversation. We hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate this phrase better. Keep practicing, and don't forget to stay hopeful in your English language journey.